When we decide which city in the world to go to, it will often be a, a place where there's been change, either political change or something's happened like a natural disaster that a country's had to recover from. A bit of East and a bit of West. I know that sounds like a cliche, but it is at that crossroads. And I think the fact that since 1991, the end of Soviet rule, people have tried to forge a new identity maybe. That's what we're going to be asking. This morning I went for a big run and I went up to Mother of Georgia. I went along the river and I was really fascinated by the fact that you have modern architecture with all those undulating shapes. It's an interesting visual for what's actually happening. You've got very, very new and very, very old. And how do people blend them together? So I think Tbilisi was a very, a very obvious place to explore that, I think. I think art, for me, is the most important way that people communicate because it needs no language, art, you know, it's a communal language. I think even if you have a writer writing in Georgian, we can have a translation. Visual arts are open to interpretation. Film can, you can see one thing, but it can be an allegory for something else. And I think from that point of view, art is truth. I had um, a few friends of mine who spent time in Georgia and she said that there is something very magical about the city and she said there's lots and lots of history but also a future that's untapped. So I came here, obviously when you come to a country you read a lot, you watch things, you listen to things. And this morning, I was saying that I, I went for this big run all around the city, bound, around the back streets, down little alleyways. And when your feet hit the ground of a city, as the city's waking up and it's quiet, and then you see people's curtains opening, and you hear people going <laughs> in the morning, you feel what a city is really like, and I loved it.